making this video for a friend of mine that wants to use Bernina's art design software to create tags or labels for quilts. And uh, it's a good low-cost program to work with fonts. You can't do really much else with it, maybe resize or add fonts to uh, existing designs. But uh, I'm going to do a quick one-handed video here. Sorry, I'm shooting this with my cell phone. It's a little shaky because I'm holding it with one hand and trying to work with the other. So uh, we're going to get right into it here, and we're going to open up the Bernina Art Design software. Now, she had mentioned this problem she was getting, uh, Internet Explorer, and it's actually Internet Explorer problem, is showing a script error for this software, but... Uh, I think that has everything to do with Internet Explorer and has nothing to do with the software itself. So I get this message every time I open up uh, the software. Uh, it asks about running the script on the page or a problem. I just click no. And it comes up. There's a couple similar messages. I just click no on each one. And the program, uh, art design program, opens up just fine. So I'm going to close out this advertisement screen. Now to create your text, uh, we're showing, I believe it's showing a large hoop. And you can go into settings, I'm not going to go into that part right now, but you can change the hoop size. So it's showing a large Bernina hoop right now. And what you do with most software is you click on the arrow symbol there. And that's, a lot of times you click on that arrow there and it brings up like a line. On this one it doesn't. But the arrow symbol is to select something. Right now I'm just going to go right into the lettering box. I'm just going to create something simply here. I'm going to do, uh, again, sorry I'm working with one hand here. I'll use my screen name. Joe Space Kind. And then we're going to put in, and what you have to do, you have to do your centering in this box. So I'm going to move this over a couple spaces, and I'll put today's, I'll click enter, and I'm going to put in today's date, uh, 3, 4, 2, 0, 1, 5. So make sure you have things centered up in this box if you just want to do it in one shot. Get that as close as you can to center. Uh, you can go in here then. You can select the text you want. Lots of different texts to choose from. Uh, I'll just select Courier PC here. See what that one looks like. Now I'm going to click OK. Now, this is, I believe, in this software. I'm just trying to do this in one take here. Select object. So you click on that, and you click in your box here, and it should show up. Let's see here. It disappeared. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to let this video go because this might be the same problem you have. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the capitals here. I'm just going to do K I N D. And I'm going to put today's date 3 4 2 0 1 5. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Get the space bar. Get that as close as I can to center. It seems to center up okay. I'm going to try apply this time and click OK. Now let me click in the box here. There it is. Now you see it didn't line up correctly, but that's basically already a design that can be embroidered out. You can play around with the spacing in the software. This is where select objects. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select it. 
doesn't really like to do the select thing here that much. It's the only bugaboo I see with this right now. The software, it's not doing the select. Let's see if I can change the color. Usually you select it and then you change the color. Yeah, it's having a little bit of problem selecting the software. Let me move this, selecting the object, I'm sorry. Apologize for this. I moved it over one space. Click OK. And let's, yeah, OK. Now center that up a little bit better. You can play with the different kinds of fonts. Let me bring, take this to artistic view. You can see it a little bit better. That's what it would look like if you embroidered out that design right now. By, let me see if I can select it again. This was the only problem I was seemed to have here with this software in Vista was selecting. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't want to select. You can go to your corners now, hold down your left click button, and you can you can then resize that. You can basically make it any size you want. You can also bring in another text box and add them together. So if you have a problem with your spacing here, if you want this tighter, we can go back into lettering again. And I'm going to hit back to delete that. I'm just going to put in uh, quilt, the word quilt. U-I-L-T. And I'm going to click on, I don't know if you do OK or apply. Apply. OK. There's my word quilt, but it got rid of my other design. I want to play around with this a little bit. But you could make that really big. You could then select this. And you could go to File. Once you have your design made, and you can do Save As. Brings up this box. These are designs that I might have already had in the computer, or these are designs that could have been, uh, could have come along with this software. File name, I'll just call it Quilt. Once you've created the font box that you want, now that you've saved this design, you could actually open up, you know, like low-cost ArtLink or the free ArtLink software from Bernina. And then on that, you would go to File, and it shows here your recent designs. Uh, let me just click on Design 1 to bring up something else. this extension so I do see some problems here using this software in Windows Vista and I'm trying it in Windows Vista because I did have a little problem getting this to work let's click on new see if we can start over okay we can start over so I have to do a little bit of playing around here. It's certainly not a good tutorial video, but it does show you that in Windows Vista, it is a little buggy. I believe if I did this on my Windows 7 and Windows 8 computer, it seemed to work much smoother. This could have something to do with this, the script error messages. Let's do this again. Uh, let me select a different font. And not a very good video, but you're seeing what little glitches I've had. I'm just going to write down problems. P R O B L E M S. And word software S O F T W A R E. I'm probably not going to leave this video up on YouTube. It's kind of bad. But it shows the good along with the bad. 
Let's click apply and OK and see if software problems pops up or do I have to click the left there. I had to I had to click the left key to get it to come up on the screen. But it does come up on the screen. It is centered. And let's go back to artistic view. So with a little fussing around here, you can get it to work. And I would just save it as an embroidery file in this program. And then you can go into your free Bernina Art Link version 6 or version 7, whichever one you downloaded. And uh, then reopen your text box that you made for your quilts. And let's see what am I going to do here. I'm, try I'm having a little problem getting the select object to work. I double clicked on it, brought the text box back up. But again, you can see once you have your the text that you want in this program, and you can you can resize it, you know, you can make it really small if you want. Click off it. But at least you can create a text design that you will be able to embroider out with your Bernina 400 series machine you have or any other Bernina. And uh, so play around with it a little bit. It should work for you. And let me know. Thanks.